to Preschool Storytime. My name is Miss Andrea, or you can call me Z for New York County Library in South Carolina. And this is my friend, do, 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 Mr. Wigglesworth. Say hello, Mr. Wigglesworth. Hello, everybody. <gasps> Mr. Wigglesworth, you're speaking. Are you not shy anymore? No, these are my friends. Well, awesome. Well, I guess he's going to speak for himself today. So let's get started with our opening song. Well, what are we talking about today, Miss Andrea? Well, we're talking about jungle animals because our summer learning challenge this year is Tales and Tales. So we're going to talk about junk, jungle animals today. Okay, let's get started with our opening song. All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, we clap and sing hello on the count of three. One, two, three. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With the friends and story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With the friends and story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With the friends and story time, we stomp and sing hello. And we wiggle and sing hello. And we wiggle and sing hello. And with the friends and story time, we wiggle and sing hello. Perfect, my friend. And now on to I wiggle. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes, with your toes. I wiggle my ears. I wiggle my nose, with your nose. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my chin, with your chin. I stretch my arms wide. <gasps> Come back, Mr. Wigglesworth. And I pull them back in. Oh, he's safe. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees, with your knees. Hop like a bunny, ch, 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 ch. smile and say, cheese, oh, how cute. And now I have no more wiggles left of me and I sit on the floor as still as can be. But because this is virtual preschool story time, you can do this standing up or sitting down. The choice is always up to you, my friends. So, Mr. Wigglesworth, let's get started with our first book. Yes, let's get started, Miss Andrea. Well, awesome. Well, let's get our first book. I'm going to put you right over here, my friend. So, our very first book is If I Were a Jungle Animal, Words and Pictures by Tom and Amanda Ellery, and we get permission from Simon & Schuster to read it. All right, you ready? All right, let's get started. Morton, pay attention out there. <sighs> Why do I need to pay attention? The ball never comes out here. I bet the other kids don't even remember I'm on the team. Smack! Yay! <sighs> I wish I were somewhere more exciting, like the beach or an island. Or the jungle. Yeah, the jungle. And I can be the king of the jungle. I could be a lion. Hey, look at me. Oh, or maybe I could be a monkey. If I were a monkey, I could swing and play in the trees all day long. Whoops. Or maybe a giraffe. Yeah, if I were a giraffe, I could stretch my neck way up and eat the highest leaves. Whoa. Okay, maybe a zebra. I can just run all day with my herd. <gasps> Yikes! Hmm, a parrot? If I were a parrot, I could find another bird friend and just have a nice, quiet talk. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I've got it. A hippopotamus. That's it. If I were a hippopotamus, I could just have fun swimming in the cool jungle rivers. Yow! <gasps> I know, a walrus. Yeah, if I were a walrus, I could. Wait a minute. Walruses don't live in the jungle. 
Martin, wake up! Get the ball! I got it. The end. Oh, wasn't that a good book? I like that one. Oh, that Morton. That Morton, that Morton. He's something else, isn't he? <laughs> awesome, my friends. Now, on to put my hands up high. I put my hands up high, put my hands down low, put my hands in the middle and wave them just so. Put my elbows to the front, put my elbows to the back, put my elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Awesome. One more time, my friends, but a little louder, all right? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wave them just so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. All right, my friends, one more time, but louder, okay? Ready? <clears throat> Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wave them just so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Awesome, my friends, and on to five little monkeys. And Mr. Wigglesworth, are you going to help even with this one too? Of course I am, Miss Andrea. All right, let's get started. All right, let's count our monkeys. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Five little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And snap that monkey out of the tree. Oh, well, Mr. Wigglesworth, you're going to be the crocodile in this? Yes, I want to be the crocodile. All right, all right, all right. How many monkeys do we have left, my friends? One, two, three, four. All right. Four little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And stop that monkey out of the tree. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Wigglesworth. How many are left? Let's see. One, two, three. Good counting, Mr. Wigglesworth. Thank you. Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And snap that monkey out of the tree. All right, Mr. Wigglesworth, how many do we have left? You do the pointing, okay? One, yes, and two. You little monkeys. Two little monkeys swing you from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile. As quiet as can be. And snap that monkey out of the tree. How many do we have left now, Mr. Wigglesworth? Just one. All right. One little monkey swing you from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And snap that monkey out of the tree. They're all gone. But that's because they are playing with their friends. <laughs> they left to play with their friends. All right, Mr. Wigglesworth, let's get back to our story time, okay? Great job helping me, Mr. Wigglesworth. Thank you, Ms. Dandrio. Awesome. We make a great team, don't we? High five. Good job. All right, now for our next book. Let's do, hmm, let's see. Let's do, do you want to do a book about rhinos? Yes, let's do a book about rhinos. Awesome. Let's see. All right, Mr. Wilkinsworth, let's put you in your space, special place back here, okay? All right. All right, now let's get our book. <clears throat> our next book is a Crash of Rhinos and Other Wild Animal Groups by Greg Danny Lishin and illustrated by Stephen Lump. And we get permission from Simon and Schuster to read it. Thank you, guys. And it starts off just like this. Some animal groups have names you have heard, like a school of fish or a flock of birds. But 
There are other names that are mostly unknown. These creatures have fun when they're not alone. A group of rhinos is called a crash, which happens sometimes in a flash. Honking their horns, always hurrying to arrive. With such poor eyesight, they really shouldn't drive. A group of bears is called a sleuth. They search for paw prints, some fur or tooth. They're always eager to solve any crime, as long as it's not hibernation time. A group of hounds is called a cry, not because they are sad or shy. On the scent, their howls give them away. All they want is a friend to come and play. A group of giraffes is called a tower. The tallest animals have grace and power. Always on watch with heads near the clouds. They're never too hard to spot in large crowds. A group of salmon is called a run. Though they love swimming, running's just as fun. A sunny day race really makes them think they should wear sunblock to avoid turning pink. A group of gorillas is called a band. They play their instruments with feet and hands, jumping and jiving like rock and roll kings in trees or on stage they know how to swing. A group of vultures is called a committee. When they hold meetings, it's not very pretty. With hooked bill and hunched over back, they vote on what's next, dinner or snack. A group of hogs is called a team, the muddiest players who reign supreme, calling out plays with loud oinks and squeals. Bet on game day, they don't miss any meals. A group of lions is called a pride. The king of the beast is known far and wide. With such good looks, it's hard to refrain from staring in mirrors at such a great mane. A group of raccoons is called a gaze. Their stares can leave you in a daze. Taking your food, not bothering to ask, can you recognize these behind a mask? <laughs> a group of buffalo is called a gang. Riding on choppers that rumble and bang, they stop to graze at the grass prairie grill. Just don't expect them to pick up the bill. A group of zebras is called a zeal because there's a secret they won't reveal. They know but won't tell which answer is right. Are their stripes white, on black, or black, on white? The animal kingdom loves to have fun, but there is one group that won't be outdone. Though their own groups, they will never trade. Who wouldn't join an elephant parade? A parade of elephants. Aw, wasn't that cute? Aw, that was so cute and funny at the same time. <laughs> all right, my friends. That is all I have for you today. But before you leave, let's do our last two things. Let's uh, do see you later, alligator, and chicken to clouds. You ready? On the count of three, we're going to do see you later, alligator first. All right? One, two, three. See you later, alligator, in the wild, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, roar! Take care, koala bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Awesome. And on to Ticket of Clouds. Tick your toes. Hello. Turn around. Can you turn around? And tick your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. So wave goodbye. Bye, my friends. See you later. Also, don't forget to sign up for our summer learning challenge. All you have to do is read for 10 hours and you get a, a cool prize. And guess what? You can count watching this video as your time too. All right, my friends. Bye.